world of trusting things And this material world Hi everyone, Navigil Tech here and today I've got the Galaxy S8 Worm for you guys, here, 3 for you guys. So right away you can see we have the ambient display right here and in this video I will just give you a quick overview of this ROM and I will show you how you can install it. So the last video I made about the Note 3 was the Note 7 ROM for it and that video was quite popular I have to say. So I think you might enjoy this video as well if you're into the S8 ROM stuff etc. So if you see, if you watch this lock screen right here, you can see we have the phone shortcut as well as the camera shortcut, and we can swipe up to unlock. So here we have the GS8 home screen, so we can swipe up to go to the app drawer, and just of course swipe around to get to different home screens. Of course we don't have Bixby on this phone, but we just have a look and feel of the GS8. So that means we also have a new camera, we can double press the home button and launch the new camera. So we get some instructions right here. Okay. As you can see, so my my camera is a bit broken as you can see here, so that's why I have this worst quality right here. But you can see we have the new layout from the GS8. So we cannot zoom this way. Okay, that's the only thing why right here that doesn't work. But as you can see we have no shadow lag. So it's a pretty snappy camera experience, I have to say. And overall, this ROM is based upon Android 6.0.1. So we've got the settings, scroll down to about device, get the software info. You can see 6.0.1. We don't have NuGet at the moment because the developer stated that this version of Android is at the moment the most stable for the Galaxy Note 3. So that's why we have this. The security patch level is a bit outdated nowadays, but whatever. You don't actually use this ROM of course as your daily driver because it's still in beta, not everything is working at the moment. But it's just fun to see a GS8 ROM for the Note 3. So if you watch that the settings menu right here, let's see if we can get back. We have a new layout here. It's way cleaner than the stuck Note 3 settings menu. So this is pretty cool. And of course we have the aspen feature still enabled right here. So the aspen nope. We also have this, go back these S10 features, air command, air view. So if I get mine out, you can see we have all the Note 5 features right here. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of a hybrid between Note 5, the Note 7 and GS8 as ROM. It's pretty cool if you're into that kind of stuff. And overall I have to say the room the ROM feels pretty smoothly. Of course, sometimes you will see some drop frames, but what do you expect from a device this old? But now I can show you how you can flash it. So it's quite complicated, or not really complicated, but it's more complicated than normal. So I have the ROM on a USB flash drive, but you do not only need the ROM, you also need a custom kernel, because the ROM doesn't include a kernel. That's quite weird, I use the Phoenix kernel or Phantom kernel, I don't know exactly how it's named. But what you need to do is just go to your recovery as I do right here. You can make a backup of your current current ROM of course, advanced wipe, then wipe Lovic system data and cache. Swipe to wipe. And you can find the download links for the ROM, the XDA thread, and the custom kernel, etc. All in the description down below of course. You can just grab the files there. So I've put them on a USB flash drive. So now if I go to install and I locate the USB flash drive, you can see I actually have it twice right here, but I need the first one. And we have also an OTA update and the kernel. So what we need to do to install this ROM successfully, we pick the zip file right here, and all the model numbers that this ROM will work on, I will have them listed down below as well. But I'm using the international like Falcon Snapdragon 800 version. So we just pick up the ROM right here, swipe to confirm flash and it will bring us to an ROM installer. So if you're running Team Win Recovery Project version 3 or higher, this doesn't work. So you need to downgrade your team your custom recovery to 2.8.7.0 like I have. And then you will get this screen right here, press next to continue installation. 
You can pick your model number right here, so the Japan version, the Duos, International, Canadian, uh, Korean, T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, even the Galaxy J and the S4, I guess, Sport. So that's cool. So if we go to next, we can do a full wipe, but we already did that, so we can just like no wipe. I want to keep all my apps and settings. We can choose our camera, so I just choose the latest version available, of course. Okay, next. And now we can install the ROM. So, of course, this may take a while. It's around 1.5 gigabytes in size. So, as you can see, it's also installing SuperSU right here. So, we have root access built in into this ROM. That's pretty cool. Now it's done, as you can see, we can hit next. And don't reboot right away. So it will bring up the screen that we want to reboot now, don't select it, just hit next, because the ROM, as I said, doesn't have a kernel. So now we go back to install, locate this kernel, I use the Phantom kernel, maybe you know a better one, but I just came across this one and it worked for me. So I will link this one, of course, in the description down below as well. So you swipe the kernel, there we go, and now you can reboot the system. And unplug a USB flash drive if you have one installed. And now it will boot us into the new ROM. And after that, we can flash the latest OTA. There's an OTA available for this ROM, but you need to set it up first and then flash the OTA, otherwise, it won't boot. It's quite a weird install process, but once you get, get it right, it works flawlessly. As you can see, there we have the new boot animation. And the first boot took like 15 minutes for me so that's quite a long time so don't panic right away that you have a boot loop and when it's finally booted up I will be back with you guys so after like 15 minutes you will be greeted by a welcome screen right here so you can just start of course and you can set up your Wi-Fi and all your accounts I'll just skip all of these just for the sake of this video so you don't have to wait for me to get past all of these screens so you can skip this as well but of course you can sign in get some weather information, I don't want that. Okay, later... Find the theme. And there you are, as you can see. So, again, of course in the beginning it might be a bit sluggish, but if we go to about device, get the software info, you can see Android version 6.0.1, where it's based upon the latest Galaxy S8 and Note 7 features. So that's pretty cool and yeah that's pretty much it so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos guys i'll see you next time peace out